Somebody asked me once if there's birch trees that grow on our island. Well, they're not native here, and these are really the only three birch trees I know of in a public park. This is a Peace Park. We just finished mowing it uh, near Ganges on Salt Spring Island. And uh, I guess they call these paper birch. I mean, they're nice looking trees. They're not my favorite, especially when we get tent caterpillars. And I've already taken a couple of uh, cocoons or nests, tent caterpillar uh, webbings out of some of the uh, cherry trees over there. But uh, these are birch trees and they, this is a really moist park. I was moist. We never really uh, irrigated much. It's kind of in a dip and uh, they got beautiful bark on them. So like I say, they need good conditions to grow, moist conditions. And problem is with our island, we got a lot of rocky soil and not good conditions for birch. So these guys have been here for a while, I think 20 years, at least 30 years, maybe 30 years. And uh, they're liking it. So I guess you call them paper birch, paper bark birch. And uh, you can see the sap sucker has been popping holes in them here. But uh, doesn't the lawn look beautiful? And there's southern magnolia over there. I've got a palm in here. Japanese gardens are there. They've been working on the garden. So they put the, uh, the mesh up there, the fencing, lots of bamboo, more bamboo over there, more bamboo there. So, but uh, yeah, right after it's mowed, it sure looks nice. And it is a nice warm day here on Salt Spring Island. So there you go. Yes, these are birch trees and they are growing on Salt Spring Island. But you don't see a lot of birch trees around here. And these are pretty good ones, I guess. I guess these are okay specimens. You tell me, birch experts. I'm not a birch expert. I'm not much too much into deciduous trees. These lose their leaves and in the wintertime they look dead to me. Cheers.